Hey guys, how are you? Quick video, I'm dancing around the kitchen, I can't even talk. Had a big party in the weekend for my husband's Chris 40th and heaps of friends. I'm about to start a meeting, my, one of my divas is about to come up and have a strategy session with me all about our new website that we're launching. But I wanted to just uh, really share something with you today. Please stop discounting your services. It's a slippery slope into just completely not serving your community. Your work is potent. The moment you start discounting and feeling like no one's got any money, you get into, I've got this Google thing here, this Google music box. Can you, can you try to turn the music down, Lisa? And I was trying to talk to it, it wasn't listening to me. Music down. Um, oh yeah, good, thank you. A little bit of volume's good. I've been dancing around, singing, having fun. But honestly, guys, discounting and discounting and discounting and discounting, you're going down to their level. So that biggest way to shift your money karma drama, uh, thank you, Nikki, and you come into, I've been redesigning my studio here, I've got a gorgeous painting that's going up, big goddess, beautiful shrine, to invoke and embody the energy and the frequency of divine and sacred abundance. So the minute you start discounting, you start to believe everyone's BS about not having enough, to invest in your sacred potent service, it's like everything becomes constricted and you go down to their level. So I don't discount, right? I don't do that. And the minute you do, and I've done that in the past when I was doing private work, and it just, it just starts off on a really bad foot. Honor your work. Allow people to rise up to meet you. What I see so many women entrepreneurs, what they don't do is they don't clearly articulate the power of their work. Everyone's suppressed, holding back. We don't want to come off too full on. We don't want to look like we have too much ego. But how about this? It's called actually valuing and clearly articulating the power and the beauty of your work so a potential customer can make a, a powerful decision. I was saying to the girls, you know, they're thinking that, I don't know, that in order for them to really, they need to reach people who are making three and four hundred grand a year. Well, even if someone who's making three or four hundred grand a year to invest in a high end ticket service, you better be articulating and clearly communicating the power of your work. Otherwise, why would I part with a cent of it? Give yourself permission to own the value of a work. And at the end of the day, it comes down to really, really honoring self. And that is not ego. It's having deep reverence for the power of your work and then clearly articulate that, right? It is not ego. It's just called self-love and value, right? Okay, is everyone getting what I'm saying? So release, 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 honor yourself and start to use your voice to own your message and invite people in to work with you. If I don't pitch my services, if I'm not marketing, if I'm not running ads, if, not, if I'm not making a sacred invitation for people to work with me, I don't sell, right? So let's start to release the shame around selling, you need to be able to sell, to, to serve, and to make the impact you were born to make. <laughs> okay, Mwah. sending you a million blessings. I'm gonna go off and have my meeting. We're designing my new site, getting it finalized. It's going to rock the house. We have over a hundred testimonials, case studies, video testimonials. It's exciting, so exciting, and I cannot wait to share it with you. Okay, blessings, have a beautiful day.